polygon polygonal strings problem okay so let's look at this problem peter had kept a piece of string so this is a piece of string uh, that had been on a parcel that had come on his birthday so this is a string he caught on his birthday uh, along with the gift okay it was 30 centimeters long so this is 30 centimeters long he played with it and made different shapes out of it with the same perimeter of 30 centimeters then he got stuck on polygons he wondered which of the following polygons had the biggest area equilateral triangle square and regular polygon now this is uh, one of the best ways of learning maths where to ask a question and try to answer it so this is a polygon sorry this is a string of 30 centimeters and he has made three different regular polygons one this is an equilateral triangle this is a square and this is a uh, regular hexagon so which it, which polygon had the high, uh, largest or the biggest area so here the perimeter of this triangle is 30 and the and uh, this is made by the string of 30 centimeters so well the length of each side has to be 10 centimeters so if this is 10 centimeters because 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 centimeters now this is an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal so all the angles are also equal so an angle in the triangle adds to uh, 180 degree so each of the angle has to be 60 degree okay now to find area of a triangle you can use half base times height but there is a, again a, a better uh, is a better formula where you can use it for any uh, non right angle triangle so the formula is area is half a b sine c now this is called uh, this is uh, you can use uh, this is actually has come out from half base times height formula of area of a triangle so if say if say this is side a this is side b and this is side c let me write a smaller c this is side c this is called angle c the side angle opposite to side C is called uh, angle C, and say this is this is angle A, and this is angle B. So this is the convention of writing uh, angles and sides. If you write angle B here, sorry, the side B, uh, lowercase B. So this is angle B. So using this formula, so our A and B. A is equal to B is equal to 10 centimeters and C or angle C is 60 angle C is 60 so the area of the triangle would be half times 10 times 10 times sine 60 okay so this is nothing but half times 100 times sine 60 is root 3 over 2 or you can use a calculator so this is 50 root 3 centimeters squared. So uh, we will find the decimal answer later on. So let us leave this as the answer. So this is 50 root 3. Uh, oh, sorry. So this should be 25 because uh, you have 20, 100, you're dividing by 4. So this is 25 root 3 centimeters squared. Now this is easy the area of a square okay now what's the side of the square so 30 the total length of all the sides is 30 so 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 centimeters so this is 7.5 centimeters so each side is 7.5 centimeters so area of a square is simple so here area would be 7.5 squared which is 42.25 you can centimeter squared so let us let me show you that so this is 7.5 
of 7.5 squared is 56.25 sorry it is better to always check 56.25 42.25 is square of uh, 66.5 uh, this is how I remember 7 times 8 is 56 so it is 56.25 somehow my brain was working for I'll show you 65 squared if you go 6.5 squared it would be 42.25 because 6 times 7 is 42 okay so this is 56.25 and finally this is a polygon now a polygon to find the area of a polygon suppose let us say this is the center or this is the circumcenter of the uh, hexagon and let me draw uh, a triangle. Now if you join each of the vertex with this point you'll get six triangle. So let me let us first write the sides of this side of this polygon. So you've got six sides, so 30, 30 divided by 6 is, this is 5 centimeter. Each of the side is 5 centimeter. So if you join each of the vertex uh, with this, each of the vertex with this point, which is called the circumcenter, uh, and angles at a point is 360, so I hope you can understand this angle is 60. So if this angle is 60, if this angle is 60, uh, uh, the, uh, the exterior angle of a polygon, uh, I hope you know, is 120 degree. Okay. Uh, the reason being, if you remember, that if you draw an exterior angle, so let us do that. Let us draw an exterior angle. This is one neat property you can remember. The sum of exterior angle of any polygon is always 360. If you add up the exterior angles of any polygon, that is 360. So there are six exterior angles. So 360 divided by 6 would be 60 degrees. So this is 60 degree. So this has to be 120 degree. I hope it's clear. So if this is 120. Uh, so this this will also be this will be 60 degree. And this will also be 60 degree. The same way this will be 60 and this will be 60. So I hope you can see the 120 degree. So again this is an equilateral triangle. So if this is phi, let me change color, it's become monotonous. This will be 5 centimeter and this side will also be 5 centimeter. So the area of this polygon would be six times area of this triangle because there are six of these if you add up the uh, the six triangles equilateral triangles you'll get the area of the hexagon so it'll be six times half times two sides which is phi squared times sine 60. okay so this is uh, this is six times half is three times 25 times uh, root 3 over 2. So this is 75 times root 3 over 2. I hope you can see my working, which is half of uh, 75 is 37.5 root 3. Okay, so let us confirm the answers in decimal so that you can compare. So this is 25 times root 3 is 43.4 in 1 dp. So this is only 43 point, how much was that? 43.3, 43.3 uh, centimeters squared in 1 dp. And this would be obviously greater than that, but let us find it out. That is 37 let me confirm 75 divided by 2 is 37.5 times root 3 it is 64.95 in 2 dp 64.95 centimeters squared so this is an interesting answer that hexagon will have the maximum area though the perimeter of all of them are 
only sixth or is uh, is 30 centimeter each of this have a perimeter of 30 but a hexagon has uh, the maximum area that's why probably when you see a, a honeycomb the a honeycomb uh, the shape is hexagonal probably that is the reason 